Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Leroy Colbert was a bodybuilding legend who prided himself on being the first natural bodybuilder to develop 21 inch arms. Although he had developed one of the most massive and impressive physiques in the 1950s, an unfortunate motorcycle accident cut his bodybuilding career short. And in today's video, we will be looking at Leroy's rise in bodybuilding fame and his achievements. Born on the 9th of May 1933 in New York, USA, Leroy got bit by the iron bug at the age of 10 after reading a muscle mag that sparked his interest in bodybuilding. Although he had no access to a gym or weights, he built his own barbell using buckets of sand and a broomstick with the aim to build big arms. Quote, I was determined to build big arms. I made it an obsession. End quote. Using basic exercises and a full body workout routine, Leroy began to build his physique and by his mid to late teens had already developed a rather impressive physique as is obvious from all these wonderful photos of him as a teenager. This one in particular from his actual website shows Leroy at the age of 16 with a ridiculous bicep peak at such a young age. I mean, 16 years old. The young man was truly a sensation. Leroy was causing such a sensation that he was already appearing in the pages of Joe Weider's magazines. By the age of 18, he entered the Mr. America competition and came six, and a year later won the Mr. New York City at the age of 19. At this point, Joe Weider decided to employ Leroy as a warehouse assistant, and so began his friendship with the Weeders. Shortly after, Joe told Leroy that because of his phenomenal physique, he wanted to get him on the cover of one of the most well-known fitness magazines in the world. Because of the racial prejudice during this period, Leroy thought that if he made it on the front cover, the magazine simply wouldn't sell. As Leroy says, quote, In the summer of 1953, I was going about my duties in the warehouse, when Joe came in and almost matter-of-factly said, Leroy, I'm going to put you on the next cover of Muscle Power. I thought it was crazy when considering the way things were then with black athletes just not being visible on newsstands. I told him it simply wasn't practical to put me on the cover, the issue won't sell well. But Joe was adamant in his final words and said, you deserve to be on the cover, it's only fair, end quote. In 1953, Leroy Colbert won the Mr. Eastern America competition and Joe Weider would showcase Leroy on his first ever Muscle Mag cover, naming him Mr. Eastern America of 1953. Joe saw the potential in Leroy, affectionately dubbing him the monster due to his massive upper body and persuaded him to train and win the 1954 Mr. Universe competition. But unfortunately, destiny struck. Leroy's bodybuilding career came to an abrupt end when he suffered a motorcycle accident that almost completely severed his foot from the ankle down. Quote, After a month in the New Hampshire hospital, I was transferred to the Hospital of Joint Disease in New York City. This is where the final blow to my competitive career came to pass. The chief surgeon at the hospital told me they must freeze the ankle with pins because the pivotal joints had been destroyed. What a mental come down that was. So I smashed my ankle. Big deal. I can still train and make the Mr. Universe. But with a frozen ankle, it is over. My competitive bodybuilding career is over at 21 years of age, the height of youthful arrogance. I never stopped bodybuilding. It is in my blood, but my dream of winning multiple awards would have to be shelved. End quote. Although he could no longer compete, Leroy still worked for Joe Weider at the Weider Warehouse, and in doing so developed an extensive knowledge of bodybuilding supplements. Because of this, he entered the supplement industry, opening his own store called the World Health Center on 84th and Broadway in New York, and later opened a chain of stores which he ran right up until his final days. He even tried to make it into the movies by playing Hercules in Europe, but this was not a successful venture. Towards the later part of his life, Leroy set up his own website and YouTube channel called Yorkie Love of Fitness, offering him the platform to share his bodybuilding training expertise with the world which he'd built up over a 60 year period. 
Leroy has been known to use both full body routines and split style training to build his physique, which I will go into detail in upcoming videos. Leroy Colbert, along with his friends such as Marvin Eda, Adi Zeller and Arthur Harris all trained together at Abe Goldberg's gym where Joe Weida would watch them train and develop his many Weida principles based on how the champions trained. Although Joe was the keen observer and was able to formulate what he saw into the Weida principles, it was the pioneers like Marvin Eda and Leroy Colbert who experimented and pioneered the use of the many principles we use today, such as the cheating principle to build more mass and strength supersets which further stimulated growth, and the priority principle where the muscle you train first will grow biggest because you put the most energy into in the beginning of the workout. It was also to be paired with the saturation or flushing principle where the first exercise you do the most sets to saturate it with blood. Lastly, Leroy and his friends also pioneered the tri and quadricets in biceps, triceps, style, etc. Colbert also claims to have never used performance enhancing drugs in an era where steroids had just started coming into bodybuilding. His views on steroids were formed in his later years as he was unaware of their effects in his youth and admits he would have used them had he not had his accident which stopped his competitive bodybuilding career. In 2003, he was inducted into the IFBB Hall of Fame. His top four measurements were arms 21 and a quarter inches, chest 52 inches, waist 32 inches, thighs 28 inches at a weight of 205 pounds. All the measurements are from Muscle Power magazine November 1953 before his accident apart from his arms which he developed to 21 and a quarter inches after his accident once his competitive career had ended. Leroy Colbert died November 20th 2015 aged 82 and is missed by his fans in the bodybuilding community, including me. I do hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have, please give it a like and subscribe and leave me your comments. I'll be continuing with more videos on Leroy Colbert soon and go through the different exercises and routines he used to develop his massic physique naturally. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era book I'm saying. Bye for now. Golden Era Bodybuilding Booklets are available at www.goldenerabookham.com including Steve Reeves, Rich Park, Vince Gironda, Larry Scott, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mike Menser, Danny Padilla and much more. Online training is now available including my new program Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique as well as Classic Cut geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platz and Larry Scott and much much more and select your poster now. As a natural bodybuilder it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much much more. Once again at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding.
If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Sups the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.